Hi, my name is Bruce and we've just come to the end of Global Entrepreneurship Week. It's been a week of workshops and activities and announcements and competitions across the globe. Right here in Cape Town, we've seen a whole host of really interesting talks and workshops. And we even had Facebook come down and visit us during this week. I trust that you've had chance to attend at least a talk or a workshop. If not, they're all recorded, most of them are online, all our workshops are on SlideShare. So please take the opportunity to go and catch up and read what other people are saying and view our slides and get involved in the competition. If you're missing out, you're going to be left out. It's also been a very interesting week for those living in France with all the ongoings that's, that's been happening around there. And I think we'll see a continuation of sagas and uncovering plots and blame that's, that's happening. A couple of themes that have come out of this, and I want to kind of remove myself from the emotion of the loss of life and destruction of property and violation, but just kind of looking at how the world reacts to something like a bombing. Firstly, it's shock and horror. I don't believe that this is happening. Then we go around and we get angry and we want to point fingers. We want to go out and immediately go and, and kill somebody else, kind of eye for an eye type mentality. And a couple of days afterwards, now for four or five days later, we're beginning to play the blame game. Who's at fault? Now it's very hard to blame and get angry at someone who's blown themselves up because there's nothing or nobody to blame. So now we're pointing fingers elsewhere. Yeah. Was it a conspiracy theory? Was it the CIA? Was it the FBI? Was it the Russians? Was it China? Was it this? And, so, and we want somebody to, to blame. Then we want somebody to actually be nailed for it. So now I see in the news that we're looking at, you know, who let the people in? You know, can we take somebody from immigration and hold them against the wall and hold them accountable for the bombings that somebody else did? And it's very interesting, the mental kind of processes and cycles that we go through. It's very similar to the way we run our business. You know, when things go bad, we firstly kind of close our eyes and pretend it's not happening. And we, you know, kind of hope that it's going to go away. Then we get angry about it. We get angry and we're frustrated and we go like, oh, why is this happening to me? It's not fair. I've put all the effort in. It's my company and how to do that. Then as we go along, we, we want someone to blame and we kind of set up these fictitious people, that's my customers, they don't pay our invoices, or you know, the landlord, he's just asking too much money for our rent, or you know, how on earth can we work like this with these slow computers and the slow internet? And we always blame, 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 and we want to put our emotions onto a target that we can direct our anger at. It's interesting that it's almost childlike, isn't it? It's a sense of, emotional immaturity. What we need to do, we need to step up to the plate as owners of business and members of society and take responsibility for what we've caused. As an entrepreneur, the buck stops here. The buck stops at the owner. The buck stops at the people who are making the decision. You know, grow a pair and take responsibility for your own actions and then do something about it. Come up with a strategy, come up with an action plan and get out of the mud. Navigate your way from chaos to clarity and get out of the fog of your life. Stop blaming other people. Stop creating this cloud of confusion around yourself. Step up, man up take responsibility and sort out the stuff in your life and your business. It'll make you a better entrepreneur. My name's Bruce Wade and this is Bruce on Business. Not always good news, but here to grow both you and 
your business.